Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the common issue that everyone who are installing latest versions of ARM Keel are facing, which is nothing but they are unable to see the startup code. So for that, uh, the solution is, first before delving into the solution, let us see why the problem has arised. If you go and check in the documentation of STM32F4XS DFP series, which is the package that you will be installing for working with STM32 series. Uh, this is the latest package as per Keel, which is uh, updated on October 11th. If you can see here, they have removed the device startup component. That is the reason you are not able to see the startup component. So what you can do is, you can click on uh, the older version, which is 2.17.1, download it and install it. Installing procedure is simple. Once you download, it will be downloaded in the .exe format. If you double click, it will prompt you to override the existing package. You have to authenticate it. Once you have authenticated it, you can open your keel. You have to go to project, new microvision project. Let's create a microvision project. So, for example, I am working with STM32 F401 RET series. Now, as I am already in 2.17.1 series of package, for me it will show startup, for you it won't show. Now what you have to do? You have to click on select packs. Here you will have something called use latest versions of all installed packages. You have to untick it. Before unticking it, first tick it and check the version 2.17.1. For example, here you have located 2.17.1. You have to untick and remember the location. Go there, change it from excluded to fixed. And once you have done that, when you are uh, before unticking it, you have to identify where it is uh, given as green color. So green color means that is kept as fixed. See, uh, so for me it is green, so it is fixed. So what you have to do is you have to change this from fixed to excluded and whatever the version you want which is 2.17.1 that you have to change it to fixed. Once you have done that you can click on OK. For me as 2.17.1 is the only latest version I am just ticking it and clicking on OK. Now you can find the startup code under the device. You can tick it and under CMCs you can enable core and you can work with your device. You can see the startup files have been included so I can simply code and check my uh, embedded C programs. Thank you. If you find this video informative, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any further queries, don't hesitate to comment.